What's up guys, Sharky Choshi here again bringing you another battle video. In today's battle video, I'm going to be bringing you a very interesting battle from the ranked double battle ladder. So this is the new season and I am bringing you this awesome battle from the new season. So uh, I did face up against a trick room team which is a very interesting team because uh you hardly ever see trick room nowadays in the 2014 vgc meta just for the fact that um there's so many counters to it there's so many priorities so many prankster pokemon in this meta that trick room just just gets destroyed uh very hard and that's one reason why um that's that's one way to counter it at the same time Talonflame and Kangaskhan are very permanent and uh, Aegislash is an extremely slow Pokemon so it works very well under Trick Room and Amoongus is a thing but anyway my opponent is running very interesting Pokemon and a um, and a Shuckle and an Elomize I think I said it right Elomize uh, a Mega Blastoise and last but not least a Gengar to round up their lineup and I am um, uh, for me, I'm running my own uh, VGC team. I am running a Kang, a um, Garchomp, an Aegislash, and last but not least, a Hydreigon to round up my lineup. So let's go ahead and get started with the battle because I know this is a very awesome battle. And I know it kind of drags on a little bit because uh, uh, Trick Room does ha have a little stally factor into it. But anyway, my opponent is going to go ahead and issue the challenge. I'm going to go ahead and send in my Hydreigon and my Kang is gone. And my opponent is going to go ahead and bring out their Shuckle and their Elomize. And uh, right here, I know that Shuckle, I mean, uh, Shuckle, I know that uh, my Hydreigon is not a very good matchup against these two Pokemon because they're so tanky and they resist everything I do. And um, I am going to go ahead and go for the Mega onto my Kangaskhan so I can stop the Trick Room. And I am going to go ahead and bring in my uh, Aegislash to uh, prevent any shenanigans. And uh, Aegislash is extremely fast under Trick Room. So he's going to go ahead and double protect, predicting my, um, uh, predicting my, my fake out but I go for the power up punch try to you know try to trick him a little bit but I still go for the power up punch again after the double protect so I can get the boosts off and one shot this Elomize and uh, you know do several amount of damage to uh, the shuckle now I am gonna go for the substitute to set up I know that he is just gonna try to set up this this turn and uh, he is gonna go for the power trick which makes me very sad but at the same time he switches his attacks for his defenses and I can go for power punches again since I am plus two and do a lot of damage at the same time the, he also sets up his trick room which is very dangerous for me because a uh, trick room is gonna go ahead and destroy me so I am gonna go ahead and switch out which I don't know if that was a very smart move by my part I am gonna go ahead and bring in guard chomp he is gonna go for the rock slide um, I think the reason why I did it is because uh, Garchomp resists anything these two Pokemon do. And I know at the same time, uh, Elomize doesn't really have that many damaging, move that can, uh, damaging moves that can destroy um, Garchomp. So, uh, Elomize is going to go for the Moonblast, do a lot of damage. And uh, that's one reason why I switched in. But at the same time, I realized that it was such a bad idea. And uh, right there, I lose my Garchomp for free, which uh, I really did not have to you know do that so right here the camera lags or you know I don't know what, what happened there but anyway I am gonna go for the flash cannon onto the shuckle um, do significant amount of damage I am gonna go ahead and bring in my Kang so I can have that fake out support and I'm gonna go ahead and try to stall out the the trick room so um, I am gonna go for the stance change go for the, go for the stance change uh, go for the King shield because I know this Elomizo is faster than my uh, then my uh, Aegislash under the under the Trick Room. Uh, Illumise is going to go for a damaging um, Moonblast onto my Kangaskhan. I am going to go for the return onto the Illumise. I did predict the the um, Protect onto the Shuckle. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I am going to go ahead and do significant amount of damage to this Illumise. So I think there's about three, two more turns left for Trick Room. I am going to go for the Sucker Punch to knock out this Shuckle, and then I am going to go for the Flash Cannon onto the Illumise to knock that thing out also. Um, let's see, uh, first of all, Illumise is going to go for the Moon Blast, do significant amount of damage to my Kang, and then I am going to go for the dam Damaging Blow to knock out this Illumise and put it to sleep. <laughs> um, yep, so, very slow battle at this point, uh, my opponent just making very good plays uh, me sacking off my can of uh, my uh, Garchomp wasn't a really uh, ideal move because uh, later on in the battle I'm gonna need Garchomp 
and uh, you're going to see why. So my opponent is going to go ahead and bring in their Gengar and uh, their Blastoise. Now right here I'm very scared because Trick Room is still up and I know that I need to preserve Kang as uh, much as possible. So I am going to go ahead and bring in my Hydreigon. But um, this was also another really terrible move by my part because he is going to go for the... Uh, for the Aura Sphere onto my Hydreigon and do significant amount of damage. Uh, I am going to go for the Substitute onto the Aegislash because I know I'm faster than uh, both of his Pokemon. I know for sure I'm faster than his Gengar and uh, I don't know if I'm faster than his um, than his uh, Blastoise but he is going to go ahead and one shot me and uh, <laughs> I don't know if that was the op most optimal play and that's why I kind of wish I still had my uh, Garchomp with me but um, you know made the dump play earlier but he is going to go for the shadow ball onto my Aegislash do significant amount of damage break my sub uh, luckily enough the dimensions do return back to normal and I am going to go ahead and bring in my Kangaskhan so right here I go for the sucker punch thinking that he was going to go ahead and protect I knock out his Gengar and um, right here he is going to go for the Aura Sphere onto my Kangaskhan and uh, he is going to go ahead and knock that thing out and uh, um, first of all, he's going to go for the Water Post onto the Kang because he doesn't need to go for the Aura Spear. He's going to go ahead and knock out my Kangaskhan. And right here, I'm very scared because uh, I don't know what he's running. More than likely, he's running the Dark Pulse. So I am going to go for the Shadow Boat to do significant amount of damage. And um, right here, I'm just contemplating what to do, um, you know, if I can survive this Dark Pulse coming up. Um, right here, I'm going to go ahead and scout out to see if he has the Dark Post. I know the Dark Post can do a significant amount of damage, and I know that I can survive one hit from the Dark Post. So, uh, right here, I'm banking off a crit, and uh, banking off a crit is very, 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 uh, very unlikely. So, he is going to go for the Dark Post, do significant amount of damage. I do survive. I go for the Substitute. I make the really bad play. And uh, right here, I end up losing the game because of that bad play. So I end up forfeiting. I did make several mistakes that cost me the game by sacking both my um, both my dragons and uh, going for that substitute at the end. And uh, I could have easily won this game. But uh, right here, I'm showing you several mistakes that I have done and uh, I have fixed. And I hope you guys enjoyed that battle. Even with those mistakes, it was a very close battle and uh, at the end if um, Mega Blastoise is the last Pokemon out in the field against your Pokemon more than likely Mega Blastoise is going to go ahead and win the game but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys uh, saw something that's uh, different than the usual stuff and uh, I hope you guys liked the video until next time guys I'll see you guys later with more battle videos bye guys